Welcome into Championship Sunday here in the Lafayette Regional. I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. And I'm Megan Glover. Megan, Louisiana put up a valiant effort to force a pivotal game seven. First, they would pick up a 13 to nothing run rule victory over Baylor to force that final game, but ultimately their season would end four to three in game seven. For sure, Jamarcus, a valiant effort by this entire team. But one that I want to point to, the Bears having the bases juice early on in the contest and catcher Victoria Valdez with the pop-up catch to end the inning there. But a lot of plays like that, but a lot of plays that the Cajuns might want to have back. Especially the one that Coach Glasgow talked about in post game in the sixth inning, Maddie Hayden would hit one out into center field and Sissy Vasquez was on second base. Coach Glasgow would wave her around to home. She would be tagged out. He would challenge it and it would come back that she was indeed out. And when I asked him after the game what went into his thought process of wanting to send her home, he said in that moment it was do or die. When you get a chance that late, be aggressive, you know, try to always be aggressive. And you know, we'd almost pinch ran. I thought, no, we need I don't have to send her. I can I can hold her here if we get if we get the hit. But it was the ball was shallow enough and the speed that the center fielder was coming. I really thought there was a real good chance that the throw would be offline. And I wanted to go for it rather than, you know, look back on it and say, oh, I wish I'd have sent her when I had the chance. I knew it was going to be really close, but I thought I thought we would make it. Uh, and I just misjudged it. Despite this season ending in heartbreaking fashion, one thing that will make the Cajuns fall in love is the fact that everyone on this roster will return next season, except one lone senior in Denali Lecker. Of course, Jamar, because at this point of the season, at the conclusion of the season, of course, we're already looking ahead to next year, and that's something that I asked Glasgow. How quickly will they go ahead and turn the page for 2025? He says immediately they're going to go ahead and have their exit interviews, give the girls some time to take a break, but he says, hey, there are really no breaks. Just keep on going. I think we're all very disappointed. Um, I think we all played great today, and we just came up short. So I think in the fall, we're definitely going to remember this game and come out next year. We're definitely going to use this game as a motivator moving forward. Um, just there's some things we can't control in the game that happened that we can't look back and, and think like, Use that as a motivator, obviously, but things we could have done, like score with people in scoring position or just making plays and stuff like that. And I think that what we got to remember in September is the, the way we feel right now, the way we feel today, and then know that, you know, how hard we work on a daily basis, that little extra effort, uh, that one or two percent extra on every day of the fall uh, is important. And Jamarcus in pre-planning for the next season. I mean, this Cajun squad had the number one out-of-conference schedule. Head coach Derek Glasgow says they're going to be planning for next year's schedule between now and this year's College World Series. Yeah, hopefully they don't start the year the way they did this season, 9-12, and 12, but were able to win a regular season Sunbelt title and fall ultimately here in their own regional against Baylor. But for Megan Glover, I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick signing out from the Lafayette Regional for KETC Sports.